Dan has got a glass of water. Daryl is serenading us. What is going on? Three dudes of you. It's, it's, it's a trippy session. What, what more do you need? What more do you need? his hair it's now like grease lightning i got chills they're multiply and because the power you're supplying is electrifying anyway this is this is all on you this one dan me and Daz have bought this one on your recommendation. He's froze. Is he froze? No, he's blinked. <laughs> trying to buy time. I was trying to buy time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you keep buying it. So this so this one. Beer, asked the boys, I was like, do you, any, do you want any more beers? Let's try and get delivery free. And Dan wanted three of these. So me and, da, me and Wayne thought, oh, let's, let's get a couple with him. Right. So basically... This one, I, I, I remember I bought like what well, I think it's under five pounds a can. Oh, yeah, it's like three yeah, pounds. Easy, three pounds. It, 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 it may be a little bit over five, but not much. And I think for very much, it's a pint can, yeah. And I personally think, like, pound for pound, this is probably one of the best beers out there that you can get for the price. For the quality and for the size of it, yeah, like it I mean, might not be the best yeah. beer you've ever tasted, but bearing in mind this is under five pounds and it's a pint can. Yeah, we never explained. This is Arbor Space Hardware, recommended by Dan the Man. And I was saying to Daz, pre to this, I love the aesthetics of a pint can. I've never held one before. It is, it is wicked. It looks really cool. I mean. There's nothing wrong with enjoying the extra length, Wayne. Wayne, don't take it the wrong way. Come on, let's, come on. Oh, I'm just going to this one out of the can, because I forgot. So it's a New, Eng New England IPA then, Dan. Which yeah. is a favourite, obviously. Super heavily hop New England IPA brewed with Equinot Galaxy, Mosaic and Simcoe hops. Yeah. And it's a 6.6. .6. So we're literally half to what we were before. Yeah, this is yeah. good. I do like their cans as well. I, like, I do like a black can at the top. I love the bold colours. That's what I really like. Yeah. And I'm going for a pour. Whoa. Oh, look at the state of that head, mate. I mean, it's, it's getting boring the amount of times you have to comment on it. This is free to get in. Perfect the poor. Come on, look at us. Look. Perfect yeah. the poor. Oh, it looks a lovely beer, though. It's, um, it's like a dark amber, isn't it? Really dark. Oh, it smells it's okay in there. It smells beautiful. Yeah, it's good bouquet. Yeah, you get all the hoppy. That, that smells more hoppy, right? Yeah. yeah. All the hops, pineapple, mango, all, all the all the hormone. Dan, you've got a beauty I'm, there. I'm, I'm getting more of the woodland rather than the fruit. Yeah. But, it, but it's got good getting hops. Dank. Getting dank. Good hops. That is very, yeah, I do a good get the hops on that. I think it's a brilliant beer. I'm a big yeah. fan of it, so... And plus, you're you're a man who likes to buy a beer and then move on to the next one. The fact yeah, you go back I, I, it's very beer. rare that I will buy the same beer, but this one, I think we mentioned it on an episode or two ago. Yeah, yeah we did. This one is um, this is what well, I think for the price you're getting a brilliant beer, a brilliant beer. Well, let's go in, Daz. Come on. My personal opinion. So I'd like to see what you guys think. That's what brought it to the table. Cheers.
bear in mind, I haven't had this after a 13.5% stout, so I don't know no. what flavour profile you'll get. So, No, that's still a stunner. That's really nice beer. It's thick. Yeah. I think it's creamy. Yeah. That's what I, that, I think that's what I liked about it. It had a creaminess about it, but you still get that New England caramelisation. Yeah, I don't think the fruitiness is as strong. I think it's more hoppy, which yeah, I don't mind. I, I don't think it's a fruity beer. I don't think it's meant to be a fruity no. beer. It's a dank no. beer. I mean, it's got... I, mean, I know it's a symbol. It's got the leaf on the front, but I sort of get that. I don't know if that's right, but I get that woodlandy, barky, piney hoppiness to it. Dank, dank is what it's called. Yeah. Dank. You get that herby, sort of earthy, earthy yeah. smell. But it's quite fresh. A lovely bit of caramelisation on the back. Yeah. And it's creamy. Yeah, and it's a good mouthfeel. I'm getting everything you just described, but with that tropical sort of fruit at the same, a uh, little bit. Yeah, at the same time. I think the fruitiness is on the bouquet. But that dank is what. Duncan trying to tell us it's Fair. more on the taste. Bit of woodland piney sort of taste. Yeah, that's that sort you know when you when you, you know when you get that damp smell? Yeah. That's damp. That's damp. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I've, I've, I've only, obviously I've only learned that recently, hence why I keep saying it. Oh, dank. Yeah. But like you're dank. educated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I love, I'll love it. Love it. I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but, but you know when you get like a fruity beer, and then on the other side you get that sort of earthy woodland flavour. That's called dank, apparently. Well, it's like we would call it wet cabbage. <laughs> yeah, wet cabbage. Yeah. When you when you yeah. get ducks gusset, it, it's called dank. <laughs> ducks gusset. <laughs> you, know, you know when you walk into an old cottage, and it's really like dank. Yeah. Right. But they've got a pineapple and a mango on the table, just sitting there. But I've, I've said this a few times, but I'm getting a tiny hint of licorice. <laughs> Dan, this that, is, this that, is, that, that's down with chocolate. It's a chocolate, isn't it? Yeah. You know, licorice is getting more, more than my old uh, chocolate coat. Have another and swig. I reckon... See if you find, have another swig, see if you find the licorice. No. Nah. But I, I get the like, forest floor type of smell you, you lads have dis been discussing. Oh, damn, that is a cracker. And also, usually, what is this, £3.70 or four quid? Or pint. It's, it's, it's no more than five pounds. Oh, no, it's no more than four quid. Do you know what? To the extent that I actually, after I'd, I'd had two of these, I wrote to Arbor. I sent an email to Arbor saying, I'll tell you what, your beers are really good, and you, yeah. could, you could probably put an extra quid, two quid on it. Um, All right, Jesus. And, and, and it'd be, yeah, and it'd be doing? reasonable. Yeah, yeah, we might buy more of these. <laughs> but it is, isn't it? You, you would happily pay an extra two quid for that. I, I reckon, anyway. I would. Hey, we, we've, we've, paid over, we've paid over double for that, for a beer that we probably will never have again. Yeah. But it was interesting mind, to try. It's a pint can as well. It's not a. It's a pint you, can. That's what I'm saying. You're not paying like four quid for a four forty, and then going, "Oh, you lads should sell it for six Do you know what I mean? You. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's just a pint can. Yeah, I'll and a lot of arbors come in pint cans, don't they? I think they all do, as far as I know, or as what I've seen. And I've had a few, and they're all generally quite good. But this one, like, yeah. as soon as I had it, I was like, wow, this is brilliant. And I've had it about 10 times since, and I've not had a bad one yet. Every time it's been knockout. It's a bag. good beer, that. It's a good beer. Yeah, I've had, I've had many craft beers now. I've spent a lot of money on craft beers now. This one is one, as you know, I'll always go back to. And I'm quite happy to, because I think for the price and for what you get, it's absolutely banging. Yeah. Yeah. No, really good. Like I said, I'd, I'd, I'd whack an extra two quid on that, and I'd have that, and think it's good for the price. Yeah. But let's not give them ideas. Yeah. Talking, no, yeah. By all means, keep it as it is, because 
Yeah, yeah. leave it alone. Yeah. They're lower the pocket for don't, us, don't, the more we'll drink. Don't shout too much, Dan. I, I think you're on one here. Yeah? I think you are. Yeah. Considering it's less than four pounds and you get a whole pint in a can, and I do love the feel of a full pint in a can. Great artwork. And it strangely has that autumn bouquet to it. It's a cracking beer. It's a beautiful it's a cracking one. beer. Yeah, I like the autumnness and the freshness, the summer vibes. Mm. It's, a it's a beauty. It's a lovely New England IPA, isn't it? Ignore Dan when he says about keeping it cheap, keeping it more expensive. You keep that at three pounds seventy a can. We're run away. Yeah, it's got a really good depth of flavour for me. Yeah, superb. Beautiful. We'll play Darba. We'll see what we get. Hence why Dan keeps ordering more. <laughs>